you guys. How you guys doing today? Today, it's uh, nice and early, and we're going to go shrimping. Of course, I'm in a little bit different type of watercraft than I usually am. I'm going to be in a jet ski today. We're going to try shrimping from a jet ski. Uh, my dad and brother and Sierra, they're going to be out there on uh, the little boat, and uh, I'm going to take a jet ski. Kayla's going to be with me on the other jet ski. We're going to try it that way. A lot of you guys are like, uh, oh, well, never, why, why a jet ski? Well, I have a jet ski. And um, the way shrimping works is they do, in, at least in Florida, the limit is five gallons of shrimp per boat or five gallons per shrimp per person if you're on land. Seeing as we will be on the water and we've already got people with my dad. Makes sense for me to take my own watercraft so I can catch my own shrimp and, um, you know, just uh, be something new for me to try. So, um, be pretty cool. Pretty exciting. I'm, I'm curious how it'll work. It's a really small watercraft. You know, there's not a lot of space. Could be a terrible idea, could be pure genius. I don't know. <laughs> I guess all ideas are borderline right there until they're vetted out. So, I'm gonna drive to the boat ramp, launch this bad boy, I'm gonna hit the water. Let's go see if this is a good idea or not. Saturday morning and the shrimping's good. That's why there are so many people in uh, one of the spots. Decent over here. Uh, One thing to remember is um, early morning, you know, shrimp at night, the shrimp come on shallower. So it's still just getting daylight, so a lot of the shrimp could still be moving in the deeper water. So it could actually be kind of slow in the morning. right there. that in a boat. You can't do it on jet ski. That shrimp was good. <laughs> Trying to get a shot for you guys on camera. So I have my hand open. To show us the problems that could happen. <laughs> it's 
It's not too bad. I just kind of stand here where I got space, can dump my basket, throw off that way, and pull my net up from the side. See the current's pulling us this way. That way, all the stuff under my jet ski doesn't get snagged in the net like it was doing earlier. Just kind of got to play around with it, find the best place to pull it up where it's snag free. Oh, that's a good one. That was a pretty good one. Got a lot on the horn there. Oh, yeah. Probably caught that jerk that jumped out. Probably just re-caught him. Yeah, I have to take my net out slower the basket. In a boat, he's just falling the deck. You scoop him up, big deal. Here, uh, you know, they're gone probably. Keep my net nice and consolidated. And start working it out. Casting's a little different. Don't have to learn to walk around. Not as much freedom and motion. Yeah, we're we're dumping our shrimp here. You gotta make sure you don't tip your jet ski over. <laughs> Dump all your shrimp out. That'd be pretty terrible. That'd make even grown fishermen cry. You want me trying this again? Just to fish, you may go. learning might need a little cover for your basket awesome. kind of getting the hang of it getting the hang of throwing it kind of choking up on my net because i don't have as much swinging room balance you know getting a feel for the drift it's not as bad as i thought not having a depth recorder i mean helps out the tripper here and i kind of just know you know based off the channel marker is where it gets deep so i know when i get on this side of the channel or close to it it's getting a little shallow and then i need to go to deeper water i throw quick enough i use the net to hold me in the spot nice how the shrimp are here so good I mean it's taking me a little longer just doing this jet ski for the first time but people on the boat I mean I I'm watch on <laughs> probably uh, probably an hour you know you get a five gallon bucket pretty good it's good when you see them all up in the horn it's a good sign It's nice. Mm, nice. All right, guys. Well, we uh, we did it. We caught shrimp. 
it didn't fall in the water, it didn't lose anything, no big damages. Um, so we did it. Kind of, kind of worked good. Is able to drift that depth. Um, you know, I brought an anchor just in case, but the drifting was fine. It's definitely. Uh, excuse me, let me get a little closer. It's definitely a little. It's, it's a lot harder than shrimping from a boat, right? Like, you got a boat, shrimp from a boat. You got a depth recorder. You got a stable platform. Everything was different. Like throwing the net, I had to get a good balance. Choke up on the net. It was, it was a lot of technique. You know, you can't just get a good whip. You got to get the technique. Yeah, everything was different. You know, technique's different. Casting is is different. You just can't have the room to move. You can't step into it. You got to get a good technique. You know, it's not about the strength. Good technique will allow you to open up that cast. You know, I do a, a two-hand hole with part around my shoulder, and that spreads the weight out, so I don't have to put a lot of ump into it. So that's one thing. Um, you're gonna need a basket. You know, space is very limited. You got a basket, a bucket. I think next time I'm gonna mark the inside of the basket, so I don't need a five-gallon bucket, so I know where five gallons is at. Um, you know, if you think you're gonna get to your limit of five gallons, you know, you want to have that marked. Uh, cooler space you gotta be quick we're about to head back pretty soon tying it off that's important you don't want to flip your jet ski and lose your whole catch or uh, it fall off during the back so hopefully we'll have a safe ride back but um, overall I mean it was fun and it's, it's doable for sure you know if you got a jet ski and you want to go out have fun with it it's gonna be more difficult but you know it is what it is it's fun to try Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got plenty more shrimping videos. I got some cool underwater videos of how the tape net versus non-tape net opens. I've got how to tape your net, stuff like that. So check those out if you need them. Just comment below if you got any other questions. We'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.